This app converts both Lord 3.5 Sonnet and ChatGPT 4.0 into the most powerful SEO tools available. Add this SEO extension and in just a few clicks, you'll be dominating the first page of Google for your niche. I'll show you how to use this tool to generate a content strategy and SEO content. Get amazing content fast and 100% free. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Subscribers to the channel have a passion for SEO and staying ahead of the curve. There are a couple of ways you can get the extension. The easiest is probably just Googling Chrome Web Store, and that's the page I'm on right here. Now, when you're here, all you need to do is type in something like AI SEO, and the very top result here, it is featured by the Chrome Web Store, is the AI SEO extension. So just click on it. It's going to tell you to add it to Chrome. Now, pretty straightforward, except there's an extra button you have to click. So we'll just hit Add to Chrome, and you can see here it's saying it's asking for a permission. We'll just click add extension and it's been successfully added. So now let's check everything is looking good. If you go up to this little icon here and click on it, you can go to manage extensions and you can see it's all good. Now, the reason I'm pointing this out is this little toggle here, if you did install a previous version of the extension, it could be toggled off. So if you've had any issues, just come to this page and check that this toggle is on. If it's not, toggle it on. With that done, I do want to add one more extension that I'm going to show in this video. It's called Page Speed Insights. Let's see what comes up. It's actually this one here. What this extension does, it speeds up the process of being able to do a page speed check on your website. So I'm just going to add this one as well. Again, it says add the extension for the additional permissions. Excellent, they're both there. The last step is I want to add them to the, the toolbar, so I'll just pin them, and now we're good. With everything installed, this is what you should see when you load Claude. You'll have these three buttons, and you're also going to see this little icon here. Now, you may not have it if you haven't upgraded to the new version, but all it does is if you click it, it makes it go away because you want to use Claude for lots of things, not just SEO, so you can actually hide it. If we go over to ChatGPT, we can see the same thing. With the new version, it works with Claude and ChatGPT exactly the same way. With all of that done, let's quickly run through the three tools in both AIs, see what we get. If we click on SEO strategy, this is going to develop a SEO strategy for us around a keyword or a key phrase. So I'm just going to type in here SEO tools and I'll go with five keywords uh, for each cluster. It'll make more sense when you see it. So I'll just press submit here and let the AI do its thing. This is our content strategy that has been developed around SEO tools. Now, I'm just gonna copy it over to a Google Sheet. The easiest way to do that is just copy it like this. So select it, and I'm on Windows, so I'm just gonna do the old Control C, and then when you get over to Google Sheets, I'm just gonna Control V to paste it. So using the extension has given us a complete content strategy around a keyword. So we have a keyword cluster, we have our keyword, it gives us the search intent, it also gives us the blog title, the suggested blog title, and a meta description. What you need to do now is generate a blog for each of the blog titles. So we can do that quite easily if we select this one here, master keyword difficulty, whatever it is. We'll just copy it, go back to Claude. Now we're just going to click this button here, SEO blog. We'll enter in the blog title. We'll give it a casual tone. Press submit, hit the button. It's generated our blog, it's over a thousand words, but the main thing is it's really just a couple of clicks and you've got your content. If you wanna do that for your entire content strategy, that is what you need to do. Now, finally with Claude, other button we can take a look at here is the Outrank tool. So to use the Outrank tool, the first thing we need to do is find a web page that we'd, that's got content that we'd like to outrank. So basically what I'm gonna do just to quickly show this is I'm gonna to go to this site here, mangojuice.app, and I'm gonna select a an older blog and we're gonna to try to generate content that will outperform the existing one. So I'm just gonna copy the URL, I'm gonna go back to Claude, hit Outrank, paste the URL in, casual tone, press submit, let Claude do its thing. It's gonna go away and it has a good understanding of what's on that page because it, you know, it wasn't published yesterday, it was more than six months old, and it's going to attempt to generate a better blog article that will outrank the first one. And as you can see, as it's generating, it's putting links within the article. So that is how the Outrank tool works. I have done other videos on SEO strategy, SEO blog, and Outrank. I'll put a 
links to them at the end of the video if you want more in-depth detail. First thing we need to do to check this out, we'll do the same thing. So I'm just going to click on the SEO strategy. I'll put in SEO tools and five keywords, hit submit and see what it comes up with. And there you go. So with ChatGPT using the extension, we've got a full content strategy, same columns, same information or very similar. We can also check out the SEO blog tool in the ChatGPT environment. I'm just going to use the same blog title that we did for, for Claude. Hit SEO blog, paste in the blog title. We'll go for friendly, hit submit. And there you go. With ChatGPT, we can quickly generate a blog also. Finally, let's prove the outrank to make sure it works as well. So we'll go back to our article we did with Claude. I'm going to copy that, put it in ChatGPT, hit outrank, paste it in. Maybe we'll stick with business, hit submit, away we go. Very similar, suggest the internal linking, external linking, and puts links in the article. Now, you may or may not know that page load speed is a key metric for Google when ranking both desktop and mobile websites. It's more important with mobile. A lot of users go to a page like this to, to test their page speed. So this is pagespeed.web.dev. You put the URL in, hit analyze, and you get a bunch of information. The other one you can use is GT Metrics. So the alternative is use the new extension Page Speed Insight. And so if I just click it, you can keep working on your site, go and do whatever you like. You don't have to copy and paste the domains over and it will just run the analysis. So the results have rendered here. And now we can take a look. So the page load speed is pretty good. It's got a score of 93. It gives third party diagnostics around some of the tools and what's being loaded onto the page again. And you get the same information for the desktop. So that's, this is the desktop results here. The first one is mobile. And the reason I've done it like that is mobile is more important. 70% of users do search on mobile. This is a really handy, handy tool. And if you scroll right down at the bottom, you get these SEO insights. So it can tell you that, well, it's telling me I've got a little bit of work to do. Because I've got 148 characters. Best practices between 150 and 160. For the title, 37 characters. The recommended is 50 to 60. So it tells you how many images are on the page, the word count of the page, how many links are on the page, and what's missing. So I hope that adds a little bit extra value for you, totally free. If you got some value from this video, it'd be appreciated if you gave it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. And if you'd like some more information on how the AI SEO extension works, check out either of these videos. Catch you in the next one.